This dude Tyler Hero is really a different breed. He's gonna be fun to watch for years, and part of what makes him so good is how fundamentally sound he is and how well he understands the game. I'll show you what I mean by this and put his game under the microscope. So first is, and this seems boring, but he's great at finding easy jumpers. For example, off of offensive rebounds, he's relocating into open space for that wide open jumper. That's one of the easiest ways you can get an uncontested jumper, and he understands that and turns it into three points. Extra possession. Or after passing the ball, it's simple. When you make a pass, many times your defender will slack off or even completely forget about you like right here and Hero understands that. So he'll deliver it to a teammate, relocate into open space, and then catch for a wide open jumper. And this is why over 66% of his spot up jumpers are actually uncontested. He's, got skill. Obviously he has He's also a master at scouting out and finding open pockets of space along the perimeter and getting there as quickly as possible. Watch here how he sees the defender's heads turn, they gravitate towards Dragic, so he raises up to make sure he's in that open pocket of space when he makes that pass. And even if it's just a small micro adjustment to make that pass easier for his teammate, he's constantly moving to that perfect spot for the pass to be delivered and for that shot to be open. And it's impressive how well he understands the game and the flow of off ball movement this early in his career. Plus he's always shot ready, which is something that many younger players learn but start to tail off as they move up in levels. Before that ball is even passed, he's somewhat low, but most importantly his hands are ready, and he's psychologically locking into that shot. Not many players are ready like this at the NBA level, but it really helps Hero get these shots off patiently. He'll also casually spot up 4 or 5 feet past the 3 point line. And first the defense has to gravitate out there towards him, which really opens up the floor. If they don't, it's a long closeout for them, and he can normally knock it down from out there. Or he can just take advantage of that long out of control closeout and blow by to the rim. Regardless of what happens, he's really putting pressure on the defense by spotting up that deep. Also he never really seems to rush jumpers. He gets open most of the time, but even if it's contested, he doesn't let it speed up his jumper too much, which is really impressive. And he's also fantastic at escaping laterally after a pump fake with different footworks too. Whether he's crossing that foot over or dropping into a slide, he creates good separation and makes plays happen out of it. The Heat also run him off a ton of handoffs. Most teams honestly have no idea how to defend this. Don't ask me why, they just don't. Defenders will constantly either go under that screen, leaving him wide open, or trail on that screen, but have the second defender sagging off. If I had to take a guess, this is because the handoff happens so quickly that this defender right here can't come down to rotate and stop the rolling big as he would in a regular pick and roll. So Jokic right here has to go with him, leaving Hero wide open. Now we can either comfortably get into a pull up off the dribble, or even just catch and knock that shot down right off the handoff. Or another option that he'll take pretty often on over aggressive defenders is essentially rejecting that handoff. And after that, it'll be pretty open getting into space. Plus, he gets a ton of runners out of this. Whether it's a handoff or a pick and roll situation, he comes off with good pace and is able to make his way into the teeth of the defense pretty often. Notice that many of these runners will basically look like one leg jumpers, getting into that Steve Nash type of running. Hero shoots really well going to his left and putting that floater up with his right. A lot of coaches will teach the need to have a lefty or offhand floater, but in most cases that right hand will be just fine getting it up without being blocked. Plus it'll be significantly easier, and this is because he's very unpredictable with it and uses it primarily when that defender is sprinting to cut him off, so it would be hard for them to significantly contest it anyways. Plus, he brings the ball from that left hip and gets it up there rapidly, so there's not much time where the ball is exposed. And lastly, you'll notice that he shoots this falling away most times, so it's slightly separating him from his defender as he shoots it, getting those needed extra inches of space. Lastly, I'll talk quickly about his step backs. 
First note that all of this is set up by how good he is is simply pulling up off the dribble. Not only can he knock it down, but he's extremely quick off the floor, which means defenders must be hypersensitive and work to cut him off. Like here, how he literally just jabs forward with that dribble, and the defender works to cut him off, so he steps back. I always say there's no such thing as a good driving step back without the threat to pull up. And most of Hero's step backs will initially look like pull ups. So it makes sense why the defense would fall for it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, follow me on Instagram at By Any Means Basketball for a lot more.